Hi again, here we are to talk about JavaScript and the shopping cart thing. Um, remember, this is just, uh, you know, the shopping cart is sort of a vehicle to learn JavaScript. You know, I mean, you could use it in a practical way, but uh, a lot of the ideas here apply to, you know, a wide variety of things, and it shows uh, shows off a lot of features of JavaScript. Um, so anyway, you know, here we are, and we're, we're in the midst, in the middle of converting our shopping cart into an object okay so we're trying to add all of the methods of shopping cart to um to a single shopping cart object here like this right and uh you know it's kind of working so far you know we've got a couple problems to solve and you can see um here that uh let me move that over right that you know when i refresh it i've, I've got my cart working and if i you know, add an item to the cart, you know, it, it adds an apple there. And if I, you know, add a banana or one of these other things, that works. But when I click the plus button here or the minus button, you know, I get an error. And what we've been doing is we've been going through and searching out these errors using the line number here. So you can see here I've got an error. Add item to cart is not defined. And, um, you know, it gives me the line number here, line 87. So let's go look that up. And I'll find line line 87. So here we are. So add to cart. Now remember, you know, this is outside of the shopping cart object, all of this stuff up here, right? This stuff is, you know, our jQuery elements that are, you know, tied. These methods are tied to objects in the DOM, right? And, and you know, they want to just call on the methods inside the shopping cart object down here. So in order for this thing to call on an object inside shopping cart, we have to use the name shopping cart. So there we go. And then the other one was on, the other problem was on line 81, I think, right here. And we can put a shopping cart in front of this because remove item from cart belongs to shopping cart. And then we'll, we'll just preemptively, you know, put one here too because, uh, we can see that, you know, remove item from cart all is also a method that belongs to our shopping cart object down here. So, you know, we'll need to prefix this with uh, shopping cart dot, right? So there we go. And there's probably some more of these, you know, let's refresh it and we'll, we'll give it a try again. So add a couple more apples, a banana, a shoe, a frisbee. So that's all working. Click the plus button. Hey, it's working, right? Oh, wait, the minus button is not working. It says save cart is not defined on line 20, 129. Let's go take a look. So uh, line 129, here we are. And it says, you know, save cart, right? So we'll, we'll put this in front here. Now remember, um, inside the shopping cart object or methods that belong to shopping cart, we're going to use the keyword this instead of shopping cart, okay? So this way, um, you know, we have, uh, we have a reference to the, the object that owns us, right? So, you know, this object here is our, our, is our self, right? It's the, the object that, that owns all of these methods, and it also owns the saved cart method, so we can refer to it as this, right? Okay, and we're going to have a few of those, okay? So you'll notice down here, um, you know, inside shopping cart, you know, remove item from cart all, there's another save cart method. And, you know, since that belongs to shopping cart, we'll have to put the keyword this in front. And then here, you know, it, it, in here it happens again, right? And uh, so that looks pretty good, right? And uh, let's, let's save all that. And we're going to have another problem here, right, that I'm going to get to, and I'm going to show you this, right? So, uh, Let's, uh, let's save all that, and now you can see I've got my cart working, and if I click this plus and minus, things seem to be working, right? And if I click this remove, oh, that seems to work, right? And I can add new items to the cart, and they're added. And I can clear the cart. Oh, wait, no, clear cart is not working. It says line 46. Let's, let's fix that. So we'll scroll up here to 46. And if you recall, I, I put this comment here to show where the shopping cart object and functions begin. So everything below here should, you know, pretty much belong to the shopping cart object. 
and everything above it is sort of outside of that system. So, so when we're above here, we're using the name shopping cart, right? So here's line 46, and we've got clear cart, and that belongs to shopping cart. So we'll add, you know, shopping cart dot in front of clear cart, right? So we'll save that, and then refresh it here, and then we'll click clear. Oh, and there's our cart. And now I can add items and I can remove them, and that's kind of working, right? Okay, so now we've got this problem, okay? It's going to be a little weird to describe this, but let's try something, right? So if, you know, if I look at this carefully, you know, um, when I load the cart, what happens is um, we call this load cart method right here. And we're creating, you know, we're, we're, we're loading something from local storage and we're creating, you know, an, an array from, from a JSON string, right? And then we're putting it in this cart variable. Now, in JavaScript, when you create a variable, it's, it's global, right? And, you know, unless you say otherwise. Okay, so this is a key concept. You know, if you define a variable you know, that variable is going to be global unless you do something to, to, you know, say what the scope of the variable is. Okay, so scope says where the variables exist. So, you know, for example, like, you know, we, we created a shopping cart object at the top. Let me go look at it here. You know, we created this variable here called shopping cart, and we set it equal to a JavaScript object. And then we defined a variable called cart, and by using the dot here in front of the object name, we've set the scope or we've attached this object or, you know, defined it inside of shopping cart. Okay, so we've set, set the, the area where this variable lives, right? You know, if we just create a variable down here, like I say, you know, like A equals 10, then A is global because I haven't said where A exists. Hmm, interesting, huh? Okay. Um, <clears throat> if, uh, if we, even inside of a function, if we declare a variable like cart, say, like here's cart right here, and we do that inside of a function, this variable right here is global. Okay. So this one's global um, because we haven't said where this variable exists, right? So our, our script is functioning. We sort of have a problem, though, because, our, you know, it's actually all of the methods here are attached to shopping cart, right, the shopping cart object. But this variable cart right here belongs to the global scope, right? It's, it's you know, it's not really attached to shopping cart yet, okay? And, um, you know, our, our script is functioning, but we're not understanding that that this variable is not, you know, belonging to the script, even though I added it at the top here, like I've given this, you know, shopping cart dot cart, right? I've given it an empty array, but this array we end up not even using, and our script is still working, right? So this is one of the things that happens a lot with JavaScript, right? You create a system, and it's kind of working, and you think something is happening, but then you know, it, it is functioning, but, you know, some of your variables are maybe not in the right place or they're not attached to the object and they become global. And then that can create problems later on, even though you think everything's working at the moment, right? And so let's, let's see if we can test this, right? So I'm kind of curious, like, you know, if I load the page and I call, you know, shopping cart dot load cart, and we get to here to load cart, and we set cart equal to, you know, whatever's returned from our local storage and converted from JSON, right? So if we were here and I said, you know, console.log, and then I said, you know, let's do, um, how about, uh, let's make a little message here. We'll say shopping cart colon cart, right? So that'll be our message. And then right below that, what we'll do is we'll, we'll print out um, shopping cart dot cart. Okay. So if this cart was part of the shopping cart object, 
then right here we would see an array full of stuff, right? And, you know, we'd see an array and it would have a bunch of items in it, right? And then below here, why don't we say console.log, and then here we'll say, you know, how about global cart, okay? And then below this one, we'll do console.log cart, okay, with nothing prefixing the cart, okay? So we'll try this. So if, 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 the, if this is in the global scope, then the second one, the global cart, will show a, a, you know, an array with a bunch of items in it. And this cart up here, the shopping cart dot cart, will be empty, right? So let's, let's give that a try. And we'll go to our, our code here and uh, refresh the page. And you can see the shopping cart cart is empty, but the global cart has two items in it. And that's what we're seeing here. And so all of the code that we're using here is actually working on this global cart, but we actually intended it to be working on this cart here that belongs to the shopping cart object. Okay, so, so actually, you know, we're not getting any error messages and things are working, but they're not working the way we intended them to work. So how, how do we get that fixed? Well, essentially, you know, everything that belongs to the, um, you know, the object, the owner here, you know, needs to be, um, attached to that to that object with the keyword this okay so I'll put this in front of cart and we'll need to do that everywhere cart appears in here okay so we'll just go line by line and we'll probably miss one and then we'll get an error message and we'll have to go fix it right so so let's go up to the next one and then I see cart on this line here and I'll type this dot cart and then I'll go up to the next function and I'll just read through it and it says you know you know, I in this dot cart, and then I'll do a this dot cart here, and uh, that looks okay. Now, and then I'm going to talk about um, this these variables that are defined with the keyword var inside of a function in a minute, because they're a sort of a special circumstance, and we'll talk about those. Um, so let's leave those aside for now. We're just worried about cart at the moment, okay? So, uh, and they're not going to get the keyword this, okay? So, because they have the var, okay? So, anyway, so we're, we're going to go up to this next function here, and there I see a cart, and I'll put a dot, or this dot cart, and I'll do this dot cart. I'm going to do this quick so I miss something. <laughs> you know, I want to make a mistake so I can fix it later, you know? Um, we'll do uh, this dot cart, this dot cart. You know, I'll do a this dot cart here. Um, we'll say this dot cart. Actually, I think I'm doing this too accurately. <clears throat> I was kind of hoping to make a mistake here. Actually, you know, I'll, I'll probably make a mistake. I always make a mistake. Let's see. Um, this dot cart, right? Oh, there's another one. Now, I'm doing this rather quickly too, so... Um, I don't want you to follow along and type every line the way I do it. I want you to search through here on your own, and you put this dot cart in front of every cart. Okay, um, you know what I mean. Like you don't you don't want to just you know type every character like I'm typing it. You want to be doing this on your own and learning it. So the best way to do that is to uh, you know follow the concept and then do it on your own. Okay, so I'm just going to go through this quickly. And save all these things and then I think I did it there let's give it a test okay so uh, now we'll run the script in the browser and oh good I made a mistake so it says uncaught reference error cart is not defined so again what do we do when we have a problem like this is we be as we're sure to check the console read the error message you know, and essentially try and identify like what the problem is and it's usually something that we've typed or something that we've defined in my case, cart. And then over here, we look up the line number. So uh, I'll look up line 158. And oh, yeah, here we are. 158, uh, cart. We'll do this dot cart in front of that one. Save it, and we'll try it again. And you know, we're probably going to get a few more errors. Oh, look, there we got another one. So it says cart is not defined on line 192. Let's go find that. Oh, yeah, here we are inside the console. Oh, yeah, well, actually, you know, here, that one's okay. 
right? Because that's the cart that was global before. Let's let's take a look at that again. So remember, before, you know, our shopping cart cart was empty, right? Because we weren't using it and we weren't putting objects in that one. And then we we were actually putting them in the in the global cart by mistake. Now the global cart is empty. It's not defined. And so we get an error saying it's not defined. That's actually exactly the way it should be, right? So let's uh, let's just comment that out for now and test again. So we'll refresh here. Oh, no errors. Now let's try our, our cart, right? So I'll add a couple apples to the cart. Maybe I'll clear the cart. Oh, there we go. Let's refresh the page, make sure the cart was cleared from local storage. So I refresh, and yeah, it's still empty. I'll add an apple, a banana, a shoe, and a Frisbee, and they all show up. And if I click the plus button, I'm adding more apples. I'm getting the total. I'm subtract. Oh, I subtracted an apple. We gotta check. We gotta click all the buttons to make sure they're they're working right. So I subtracted an apple, and then I got an error. Cart is not defined on line 123. So let's go find that. And we'll go up here to 123. Oh, there's a cart right there, and it needs a this dot in front of it. Okay, so we'll save that. And we'll refresh, and I'll click a plus button to add an apple, subtract an apple. The count is going down. I'll remove an item from the cart. Let's subtract a couple items. Like if I subtract an item and get it down to a count of zero, then it should remove that item. Oh, and that works, right? Add a couple more items, clear the cart. So I think we're in pretty good shape. I think everything is working here, right? And now everything is attached to the shopping cart object. And so essentially our code uses one name in the global you know, namespace, right? And everything is attached to a single object and all sort of contained in that object, okay? So I hope that was enlightening to some degree and helpful. And uh, thanks for watching.